Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to another Expedition Mass stream with Strategy 333, your host, being me. In case you aren't familiar, which I'm sure most of you are if you're watching, because I don't know many of you people watch this stream. But, laments aside, first match is going to be between Lowry and Flipstip on Icy Shell. Well, let's get started. Icy Shell, I have shown this map off a few times before, but I might as well go over it briefly again. It's flat. There is this area in the center that basically is only bot pathable, but other than that, it's basically flat. Center also has a 5 metal income spot, while the rest of the map is entirely composed of 2 metal spots. Though fairly evenly distributed, all things considered. You do have the corners that are a bit more concentrated, but everything else is relatively evenly distributed in a nice little diagonal grid pattern. So, Lowry starting out with Cloakybot Factory, and also a very quick Lotus, so he's not expecting any cheese, going for bit more of a stable defensive setup. Generally speaking, Lotuses you do when you're a bit more confident your opponent's not going to be doing any cheese strategy on you, any massive raid or anything. And Defender, on the other hand, is what you do when you are suspecting that sort of thing. Though that's a really broad statement and probably not always true. But anyway, Lowry also very cleverly setting up his solar planets just to cover off the metal extractor. Very nice thing to do. I like when players do that, especially like, Clone does this a lot, but Lowry seems to like that too somewhat. Actually, Clone does it where he has the two solar collectors with the metal extractor and the Lotus right next to each other. Anyway, Lowry just now finding Flipstip. Well, okay, he knows where Flipstip is. Bottom left, left corner, but... Well, actually, he doesn't. The start locations are the entire south side and the entire north side, but the players have opted for the opposite corners. So both players also going... So yeah, Flipstip also going Cloaky. Pretty much the exact same opening, although the Lotus was much later, but at this point... The players are very similar in terms of their opening. Lowry, however, has just lost one of his conjures that was expanding to the west side of the map. On the other hand, Flipstip expanding more with his commander. Battle commander with Riot Cannon. While Lowry going with a battle commander that's not upgraded yet. So yeah, Lowry's expansion attempts are a little bit slowed. Though he does have an economic advantage. Very slight. By energy primarily, but it is still an economic advantage. And Flip... Flipstip... Sorry, not Flores. Flipstip. Flores is next game. Flipstip is setting up a bit more slowly. I think I think Lowry might have been trying to expand in the northwest side without going to the center first, which would be cool to see, but I think this map might be, might be too small for that. Granted, Flipstip doesn't actually know what's there. If we check his current view... He, ah, there we go. Check his current view, he doesn't have... Or he has very little knowledge of what Lowry is doing. His radar does not go that far. Doesn't see his base. Lowry, on the other hand, pretty much the same thing. Actually, he knows that there is... No, he doesn't really know anything at all. So neither player too aware of the other's expansions at the moment, but they are definitely aware of the other's factories. And actually, also not aware, Flipstip is going to the center, taking the center mech, so is going to have a massive advantage as a result of that. Though Lowry just about to spot this, Actually, Lowry did... For sure he does have... Yes, he does have radar of this, so he does know that there is something going on here, which presumably is going to be building the metal extractor. And able to spot out... Flipstip's forces here, just chasing off one of the glaives. Not doing a whole lot of damage, but still, Flipstip does get pushed back. That being said, Flipstip now has... the center of the map. That's huge. Lowry's setting up some defenders to try to deal with this, but it's not going to be enough. However, his commander coming in here... Less upgraded than Flipstips, but in a slightly better position thanks to the high ground. The important thing though, Lowry is aware of what Flipstip is up to. That, that is huge. So Lowry, how is he going to deal with this? He is continuing to get more and more glaives, not really worried about his production other than that. Flipstip, on the other hand, is... What the... I... Okay, I don't know why I can't select Flipstip here. Anyway, Flipstip is... Also, actually, he's going for more Rockos. Go for a mix of Rockos and Glaives, while Lowry is going entirely for Glaives. Kind of interesting, but Lowry, he has a Metal Extractor, sorry, Rocket Launcher on his commander. That is definitely, well, that's basically a Rocco. Not much more to say about that. He has cleared out the center, though, and with that, Flipstip, let's see, Flipstip does have these Glaives up here in the north. They are going to be, I gotta fix that. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway, the Glaives are going to be setting up something, I imagine. Flipstip's going to be doing that. 
And Lowry continuing to push in with his commander, trying to... He's really forcing Flips out of the center. Okay, he's more than just a Rocco. The Roccos do not deal quite as much damage as this. So yeah, Commander Rocket Launcher definitely very powerful. Not in the best frame position, but still forcing the Rockets back, forcing Commander back as well. Even that Lotus isn't going to do too much good for him. And that being said, Louder's Commander moving back somewhat. He can't totally troll calm. I mean, he's not really trying to, but he re he has to push back somewhat. However, his forces coming, his Glaive's coming in to cover for his Commander as his Commander retreats into the Lotus, getting rid of Rocco and nearly killing a Glaive as well. Glaive's flanking as well along the south side, and Lowry is going to lose most of those. All of them. Or, no, not quite. One of the Glaives does escape with half its health. However, Lowry has started to somewhat take the center, building up some defenses, and probably going to either take the Metal Extractor or at least reclaim a lot of this stuff. While flanking around, and... Apparently, Flipstep's forces to the north have moved away, so that's not an attack that's likely to happen anytime soon. Lowry coming in here with a bit of a counterattack. Well, not counterattack. Continuing his push. Wasn't even attacked in the first place. Just continuing his push in with the Glaives. Nice split off here. Getting rid of a Metal Extractor with two while sending the rest over to just deal with Flipstep's army. And you're just going around the side, kind of distracting a lot of stuff. And actually, this force, this larger force here, mainly a distraction. Everything else, all the damage is being done by small strike groups. Very nice control there by Lowry. These two, two Glaives here have already killed off a couple of Metal Extractors. And this two Glaives in the northwest killed off a Metal Extractor and a lot of power plants. So very, very nice splitting of forces here. No, this glaive, this glaive of the south needs to be moved a bit more, needs to deal with the south center. And the glaives in the northwest, I think, are getting idled as well. They are not a whole lot of attention is being paid there, but still, nice split regardless. Really, really damaged Flipstep's economy, though Flipstep does have a lot of reclaim fuel at this point. But yeah, Flipstep at this point, a stable economy is about one, is about two-thirds that of Lowry's. 12 metal to 18 metal without reclaim. So, Lowry has... Got himself in a decent position, though Flipstep is expanding nicely. Lowry does have the center, which is huge. He does not, however, have the north side. He could send a worker over to the north side. I'm a bit surprised he has not. He's... Well, he's got a worker in production, but... Yeah, surprisingly, he hasn't actually bothered to send that out yet. Once he does, we'll see what happens there. But for now, he's not really worrying about that. And Flipstep going... Now, this is a counterattack. The original attack was not a counterattack because there was no attack to begin with, but... This is a counterattack. Flipstep coming in here with a few glaives. Weird. A few glaives, Rockos, and a warrior. Definitely going to get rid of everything that Lowry has if he continues to go purely for glaives, though he has started to build some Rockos, which will counter the warrior. That being said, the center is the big key point here, and I think Flipstep's probably going to go for that too hard. He does have a hammer set up to try to deal with it, but Lowry's going to get rid of that. That hammer is not really going to last very long. And these Glaives once again going in and dealing more damage once again. Another basically strike team of Glaives. One of the Warriors does kill a few Glaives, but not the main army. Continue to go around, get rid of some more Metal Extractors. And at the same time, we do have over here a... Man, I could check those controls. Sorry, I was experimenting. You'll notice the view thing. I'm doing some experiments with that. Anyway, we do have... Flips of Assault does get pushed back by the Rockos. We're able to do a bit of damage, but the Rockos do push everything back, and that does force Flipstep back into a bit of a corner. He does have some good reclaim fuel. He actually does have a decent stable economy as a result of having taken the entire south side of the map. While Lowry, on the other hand, he's taken the center, but the north side of the map he's starting to lose. Flipstep is expanding towards the north. He's expanded already towards the southeast. And Lowry kind of trying to defend against this, but I think he's starting to lose a bit of momentum, actually. And he's also nicely distracting some of Flipstep's Rockos with the Tick here. No follow-up units with the Tick, so really it's just... Operating more as a distraction than anything else. If it stunned out the Rockos, it wouldn't help too much. However, yeah, Lowry... He kind of needs to take some map control of the north side. I'm really surprised he hasn't sent a worker over to the north. He does have... He has a worker coming in here. I'm just surprised he hasn't... Yeah, Conjurer is being built up. It looks like it is going to be sending up some metal extractors over to the north side. That is what Lowry needs right now. That center metal extractor has been a boon to him, but it hasn't actually made him any stronger than Flipstep economically. In fact, Flipstep is getting ahead economically, either by reclaim or just by, no, just by more metal extractors. Flipstep just happens to have more metal extractors than Lowry does. So that... 
Well, Lowry's going to go in for one more attack here. I think Lowry will be able to pull this off, at least as a harassment, but I don't think he's going to be able to pull this off as a killing blow. The Warrior here is going to get rid of the Glaives. The Rockos will help a lot there, but then again, they are being countered by Glaives as well. Flipstep moving back, though. So is Lowry, and a bit of a stalemate, honestly. Though, a hammer being set up to break that stalemate while Flipstep's commander just continuing to build up some defenses just to make sure he doesn't have to worry too much about units being set around. But yeah, the hammer is set up, starting to get rid of some defense. Actually, starting to get rid of these Rockos somewhat. A lot of concentrated units, which is just perfect for the hammer. It's exactly what it wants to see. Everything concentrated. I mean, Flipstep, he does just have... All he has is radar view, but still. He can see everything well enough that it doesn't matter all that much. However... That goes for Lowry as well, that hammer getting crushed, and Lowry coming in with a heavy force of Rockos. Even with the Glaives coming in, I think the Rockos are going to be too much. And Lowry does push them away. I, they aren't on fight move, he is just getting... Okay, now they're on fight move, but he is trying to make sure they're not getting surrounded by those Glaives, though there's only four of them. Not the biggest deal, but still, Glaives can be difficult to deal with with Rockos. And very nice dodge micro by Flipstep, by the way. That's Actually, never mind, it's just fight command, but still... Very nice dodge micro by the Fight Command AI, though ultimately not paying off, and flips up losing a lot of his glaives. He does have more coming, but he doesn't... He's not focusing very heavily on glaives. Hammer, sharpshooters, glaives, warriors. That's not the most efficient thing to do against... I mean, the, the sharpshooters make sense. The warriors, not so much. Rocco's just counter warriors outright. However, Flipstep has started to take over the Northwest, and he is blocking off any attempts by Lowry to expand. He is keeping Lowry very much pinned. Though flips up, he is running. He is starting to stall on power. He does need a few more power plants. Losing some of the earlier raids has not been good for him, which, which it wouldn't be naturally. Obviously, <laughs> losing losing things is gen generally considered a bad thing, so naturally it would be. However, Lowry does have. Well, he has the center, but he's getting surrounded. Flips up, making good on that surround. I. Do I see anything here? No, I do not. Actually, yes, I do. There are conjurers. There are three conjurers coming up, and they are going to start building up metal extractors, whether or not Flipstep likes it. So I think Lowry is still going to have to do a bit more work to defend this. At the same time, the south, we do have Lowry assaulting, being somewhat delayed by Glaze, and over the west, hammers are trying to take out Lowry's base, but only one hammer, really. That can be taken out too easily. Sharpshooter, whoever, is in play, and Lowry's commander will go down in one more... Sh no, two more shots. Does have auto repair module on it, so... No one, one shot is not going to be enough. That sharpshooter will not kill in the next shot, but it... Well, between that and the hammer, this... Well, this, actually, this field of defenders is going to take a while to take down. Even with the hammer. Now, five or six hammers would definitely tear apart this field, no problem. But at the same time, that's a lot of Rockos that would counter it. So, Lowry in a great military position. Flips up in a great economic position. Really just a matter of whether or not Lowry's going to be able to... Is that negative 90? the heck? Okay, I... Must be a bug. Anyway, Lowry does start... He is dagging, though. He is going to be able to find that sharpshooter. Getting hit by Stingers as well, but that sharpshooter has been found. It has been destroyed. And Stingers coming in here for really not much use. The Warrior is going to be able to come in. The Rockers going to be able to... Well, actually, Warriors and Rockers are going to be stopped by the Stinger ultimately. But there's another wave of that coming in. Same time, Warriors coming in for Flipstep. They are getting rid of the Metal Extractors. Lowry's commander going to try to deal with those. I don't think that's going to work out too well, though. Even with a rocket... Actually, no, the rocket launcher will help. Never mind. The beam laser wouldn't help, but the rocket launcher should be fine. Now, Flipstep setting up more defenses, setting more power as well on the south side. He does have his power back. He does have... He's just about overdrive excess. But even then, it's just a matter of building the military up. He has the caretakers as well, but it's just, I think the fact that he's not going entirely for the counter... He, he is countering with hammers, and that's good. Actually, he is starting to overwhelm. Lowry is starting to lose out here as Flipstep does get three or four hammers, and they aren't getting attacked directly. No, they aren't even getting... Nothing's being pushed forward by Lowry. He does have a lot of glaives, though. These glaives are going to be problematic. Once they come in, there's about... There's 20 glaives? Yeah, 20 glaives. All of them Lowry's. And that is going to be a bit of an issue. But what isn't going to be a problem is the fact that Flipstep, even if he loses the Northwest, he, I mean, he's still ahead. Economically, he's still very much ahead. So he is losing the Northwest. That is a bit of a blow. He doesn't want to lose that if he doesn't have to. Lowry not losing any Glaives in the process. 
and more glaives coming south from there. And going to the center, trying to take out some of the hammers. The hammers have been retreated. And the sharpshooter in place as well. The center is being slowly but surely worn down. The defense nest, or defender nest, is halved at this point. Likely to be destroyed completely pretty pretty soon. And once it gets down to about two or three, I imagine that Flipstep will just march in there with the warriors and deal with it directly. Yeah, Flipstep has taken the vast majority of the map. Lowry... Well... He's still doing okay right now. He does have Reclaim to work with. He does have this north side. He has freed up the northwest side and taken the north side for himself. He should be able to come back from here if he pushes for it. But Flipstip, it's really a matter of how he uses these units. Or if he loses the units, one Sharpshooter is going to go down. That is a bit of a shame. He did not need to lose that Sharpshooter if he didn't have to. And the second sharp Sharpshooter is getting approached. It might not get attacked, though. We'll see. These Rockos are coming into position. They will be able to find the Sharpshooter, but Flipstep moves it back. Doesn't do much with it, unfortunately. But still, not getting attacked. The Defenders are able to get rid of a lot of these Rockos, and Glaives... Well, never mind! Commander down for Flipstep! That was... That's actually a pretty big blow. That was a lot of his frontline force right there. The Riot Cannon being used to get rid of a lot of stuff. Lowry is pushing him, especially the Glaives. And given that Flipstep's army is primarily composed of hammers and sharpshooters, the few warriors here and there, those glaives are gonna have a field day at this point. Glaives and Rockos combined are gonna have a field day. Flipstep coming in for a counter harassment. These glaives, if they target the Lotus first, might be able to survive. One of them might be able to survive and kill the rest of everything. We'll kill this melee charger at least. And we have two up. The melee charger will go down, but at the same time, that's some reclaim that's been pushed in here, and only one melee charger being destroyed in the process. Ultimately, if Lauda reclaims that, which he might not at this point, there's a lot of stuff in the map to reclaim. That's not the biggest deal at this point, honestly. The biggest deal right now is the center reclaim field. Flipstep needs to hold on to this as best he can, and he has, for, by and large, broken the center. He hasn't gotten rid of the center mechs, though, given Lowry's economy, that's a bit of a blow, but it would it'd even things out more than anything else. Especially since Lowry, he is rebuilding the northwest. Since he is doing that, Flipstep is going to have just that much of a harder time dealing with all this. And Lowry coming into the Rockos. Sharpshooters are going to be able to help out here a bit. Actually, quite a lot of sharpshooters. They are getting rid of the Rockos, not sure of cost effectively. And Warriors coming along the east side of the map, taking part of these glaives. Tick as well helping out with that. But the Warriors, if they go along the east side, if it goes east and then south from there, and then along the south side. That should work out okay. The only problem is going to be all these defenders here along the south side. That will be an issue. And Lowry is... Well, being pushed in a bit of a stalemate. He has managed to secure this territory. He's kept it for himself. So at this point, map control is split in half. This is the line. Pretty much. But Lowry does have the center in his territory, and that is a big deal. As mentioned earlier. But at this point, given that the economy is largely even... Actually, no! Lowry has... A few more forward mechs as well. Flipstep has not taken these. The line of battle is not quite... It's really, the line of battle is more like this. Especially since Lowry has been pushing in over here to the northeast... Or the southeast side. So Lowry looks like he's ready to make a comeback here. Flipstep did look like he was starting to push back, but... Never quite managed to do so. And Lowry, with the army he has, could probably push forward directly right now and win. He just needs to find the sharp, sharp shooters. That is the problem. Sending in a massive glaze would do it. But there are four sharpshooters in play. That is going to be a bit of a problem to deal with. Thankfully, not the most accurate when dealing with radar targeted forces, but still a bit of a problem. And Lowry, he has gone. He's been just solidly raiding. That's the thing. He's been slowly but surely taking down flips of his economy, building up his own, getting air as well. And up come stilettos. Or not stilettos anymore. They're called Thunderbirds now. Up come the Thunderbirds. And that, I imagine, will probably be used where he suspects the sharpshooters to be. And here, like I said, this is the big assault coming in here. This should probably do it. We'll see, though. Lowry does have... Well, has got rid of all the... Everything. Get, stunning out the stinger. Getting rid of all the hammers. Everything is going to die. And the sharpshooters, while still a threat against these glaives, not, really not worth it. They might kill one or two in a shot. And that's about it. Not the biggest deal. 
At the same time, there is an aircraft factory for Flipstep, but nothing has been built yet, and it's about to go down. Sharpshooters trying to do what they can, but they have all run out of ammo, and more Sharpshooters are being built, which really shouldn't be. Should be Glaze. Oh, never mind. There is one Swift up. But that aircraft factory is about to go down. Or air airplane plant, rather. It's about to go down. The Clickabot factory will soon follow, but nut doesn't matter. Flipstep throws in the towel. Very interesting game there. Yeah, Lowry, congratulations to you for winning that game. And I'll be back shortly with another game for you guys, so stay tuned. And in case you're wondering, the replay system is still down for 0k, but Lowry, actually Flipstep in this case, and Randy in a lot of other cases, was kind enough to upload the replays independently of the replay system, so I could just download it off their Dropbox or file upload system that they used, and then we have this cast. So stay tuned for the next game. It's going to be Randy versus someone. I can't remember, actually. Randy versus Lowry, I want to say. Oh, wait, I can look it up. Randy versus Floris. Right, like I said, Floris is in the next game. So yeah, Randy versus Floris. They'll be on in just a couple of seconds. Minutes, not seconds. Not that quickly. Yeah, it'll be on in a couple of minutes, so stay tuned.